Welcome in CakePish tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how to generate barcode or QR code for our CakePish application. For that, I will use a package that is given in GitHub, and you can see that it has created by Kudit Noin. So you also see that it's this uh, package also support almost in all PHP frameworks. So I'm just going to copy this line and I will use this package so let it install it so I'm just going to copy this line and go in my editor and opening my terminal and then I'm going to paste it in here so you can see that my terminal location is in my application folder so after hit on enter you can see that it has uh, installed so next Thing that I will do I will use this uh, package so for that I will use this uh, class because first I want to generate the QR code so for that I am just going to copy this line and I will use this class the next thing that I will do I will just copy this whole bunch of code from here and I will just paste it in my view So you can see they have given here the echo. I'm just going to remove this echo and just uh, taking a variable called uh, image QR code or QR code. Yeah. Then I'm going to send this uh, image, this QR image to uh, my view. So after save this, I'm just going to take this variable from here and paste it in my view. So after paste this one, I'm just going to give this PHP uh, variable sign and just save. If you go in your subject and view uh, and you can see you, this barcode in here. So if you want to change this barcode, for example, I want to make it a little bit smaller so you can see that there is some options. So I'm just going to change the size. So I'm just going to create it 200 so you can see that this uh, QR code, this image size has made it really smaller. Next thing you can do, if you think that you uh, remove this level, then you can just uh, remove it from here. And this, the same thing that you can do, for example, uh, you want to send this text. So when you will uh, read this QR code, you will see this text in here, the QR code by put it now dot in. So if you want to change this one by your product ID or it may be by any links, anything. So you can just replace this one. For example, I want to send here the subject name. So I'm just copy this one and remove here this sentence and just put it subject name. So if you just save, so just look in here after reload, this image shape has changed. So that means this name actually uh, already came in this image. Also, you can change the image. Uh, uh, barcode background for example if you just change this to five five to zero so we just made the red zero so you will see the background is will be look like something like that you also able to change the foreground color for example i'm just going to change this to zero to two five five that means red green blue so if you just load it reload it you can see that this color has made red so this is the very simple example that how you can generate the barcode in CACPish, uh, sorry, QR code in CACPish. So same thing you can follow for generate the barcode. For example, in here, in down, they have also given a uh, tutorial, uh, a, a sample code that how you can generate the QR, sorry, barcode. You can take this one and you can use it in here for the barcode 
and uh, I'm just going to copy this all line from here and paste it in here so that is my our barcode and paste it in here so now uh, you can set any text for example this is the number that you can see you can see you can use the product id or anything so, like i have given it in here and last thing that you just need to send this uh, send this image for example image barcode be code something like that and i will send this to my view and I will use this one in my view so after this uh, QR code I'm just going to use my barcode in here so the save if you just go and in your page you are showing this uh, barcode image in here so that was the tutorial to this tutorial that how you can create the QR code and also barcode in Cagfish using a very simple package. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next tutorial.